What's up everyone? In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to change the starter motor on one of these TSXs with the 2.4 liter DOHC VTEC engines. It is not the funnest car to change the starter motor in. Uh, I saw a few videos online on how to do it, but I'm going to show you how I am doing it with the least amount of steps possible. So uh, there was another video where the guy took off the radiator hose and drained everything and took out the reservoir. I didn't have to do that. As you can see, everything's still together. Um, and I'll just walk you through the steps I've done. Uh, I haven't done it before, but I'm pretty good with cars. I mean, fully built this S2000 and built that Viper. So, um, But like I said, I'm trying to do this with as few steps as possible. So let's go through it. Take off your negative terminal on your battery. Once you get over to the intake manifold, now on the ground obviously, but once you get on to over here, you're gonna pop that lid off. There's gonna be two 10 millimeter um, nuts that hold this cover on. You take those two off, take the cover off. Once you get that off, you're also gonna take off this intake arm. There's a few hoses on the back of it, but um, this thing here kind of just pops off the back. This one you can leave connected. You really just need to get out of your way. Um, once you get this out of the way, um, you also have to take this off your throttle body. One of the reasons you have to take the throttle body off is because there's these two coolant lines that pass through it. So you can either take, leave the throttle body on the intake manifold or it bolts up right there, or you do what I just did so you don't make a mess. Take off the four, uh, there's actually two bolts and two nuts that hold the throttle body on because there's two studs and then two bolts. Um, and then you just, you can actually, I disconnected this because I thought I was gonna have to take it off, but I probably could have just left this plugged in, honestly. So you take the throttle body off so you can leave it here because like I said, there's the in and out for coolant lines. Once you get that off, um, there's just a series, this harness here is bolted to the intake manifold, you'll see. So there'll be a 10 mil bolt holding it here. Um, there's also a 10 mil bolt holding it here to the front of the intake manifold. Remove both of those. And you're gonna start to see that the intake manifold is starting to come a little bit free or it looks like it might be free. So once you take this off, uh, you're gonna see this. So this is the intake manifold. This would be how it sits on the car. So you're gonna disconnect the sensor. Like I said, this is where the, the bracket for the wire harness bolts to here. And then it also bolts here. You're gonna take off this vacuum line, remove this sensor. And this bracket is on the bottom. So there's a 12 millimeter bolt that's um, it's a little bit fun to get to, but remove that 12 millimeter bolt off the bottom. And then you're gonna take off one, two, three, four, five, 12 mil uh, nuts that are gonna come out of here. Actually, it's a combination again of nuts and bolts. If you go back over here, you're gonna see that there's two studs. So you're gonna take off those five and it's gonna free itself. Once it frees itself, you'll see on the back side of here that there is this vacuum nipple here and also a clip here and that's holding the vacuum line. And you're also gonna see this here, these clips. And this is holding this wire harness. You don't have to actually unplug the clip, but you just have to take it off of there. So where is it here? This guy here. So you can leave this connected, but you do have to slide this off. So you just squeeze this tab here, slide it off. And then there's this uh, little speed clip here. And that plugs into there. So you're gonna have to free that so you can bring the whole intake manifold up. Once you get that up, you're gonna see your starter. Um, there's this one sensor here. You can unplug this, just squeeze it to take it off. You're also gonna have to pull out this little um, speed clip here as well. That one there. And there's another one here, another clip for the starter to engage the solenoid. There's gonna be a 12 mil here. As far as, there's only two bolts to hold the actual starter on. 17 millimeter, that's right here. And you're gonna see a 14, see that weird looking thing there? It's actually an extension, so the bolt actually, you know, seats over here, but it's got this extension on it that goes back to there, if I can get some light on it. And it's a 14 mil head right there. So remove those two, and that's it. Your starter is out. Just do the reverse steps, put it back together. All right, so here's the old one, here's the new one. This one's just an AutoZone cheap one, but the car is turning over real slow and not this is anything technical, but you can actually hear it. This is the new one. You shake it, the motor and everything's tight inside it. This one, everything is crazy loose inside. So again, not technical, but obviously it means something because this one's toast.
All right, so it's all good now. We put it all back together and it was actually a starter motor, so it was turning over slow now. And yeah, everything's tight, everything's good. Like I said, it's just reverse everything. But if he starts it now, good as new. All right, thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, thought it was helpful and it was short, but give it a thumbs up. Any questions, ask in the comments below. I'll try to answer them. See you in the next one, later.